The DRDO has conducted a test of the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster from the integrated test range yesterday, during which it successfully demonstrated the reliable functioning of all critical components involved in the complex missile system, and met all the mission objectives. It was the fourth test of the SFDR, and the successful test was an important milestone towards the development of Mach 4.5 capable 350 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile, and the technology can also be applied to long-range surface-to-air missiles. The aeronautical development establishment is in process of fabricating four Archer armed UAVs, that will initially be used to conduct various tests and will be handed over to the Indian Army for user trials. Aeronautical Development Establishment is also ordering more ground control stations as the Rushtim 2 program is nearing completion, and is expected to enter limited-scale production soon. Aeronautical Development Establishment has also started fabrication of the high-altitude long-endurance prototype. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has issued an expression of interest to set up a large cavitation tunnel, and is looking for industry partners under no cost no commitment basis. The large cavitation tunnel will have test sections, which will allow mounting of a complete ship hull model, and testing the model propeller in the actual scaled ship wake, and help to develop silent efficient propeller and predict accurate cavitation bucket diagram for the propeller and will facilitate to undertake futuristic scientific study and research in the field of propeller acoustic and flow noise. The first batch of the aircrew of the Indian Navy has completed its training in the US to operate the MH-60 anti-submarine helicopters. The completion of the 10-month training comes ahead of the delivery and induction of three helicopters into the Indian Navy by June 2022, while the remaining 21 helicopters will be delivered by 2025. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has completed the design and development of its high-endurance autonomous underwater vehicle, and has now released a tender for the procurement of three launch and recovery systems, that will be used to launch and recover the high-endurance autonomous underwater vehicle for testing at the Lake Test Facility. The tender document reveals that the underwater vehicle will have a length of 10 meters, a diameter of 1,000 millimeters, and will weigh 6,500 kilograms, and 40 number of trials have been planned for this system. Solar Industries India Limited has successfully tested three different loitering munitions in high altitude conditions in Ladakh, that was done in association with Z-Motion Autonomous System Private Limited, in which Solar Group has a 45% equity stake. The LM0 and LM1 loitering munitions achieved full endurance of 60 minutes, while the hexacopter conducted 30 minutes flight with 4 kg warhead at an altitude of 4,500 meters. All these products have more than 80% indigenous content, and are 40% cheaper than the currently imported loitering munitions. A day after releasing the third positive indigenization list of 101 items, the Ministry of Defense has announced that 25% of capital acquisitions has been allocated for domestic private industry in the financial year 2022-2023, which is around 21,149 crore rupees, out of which 1,500 crore rupees will be earmarked for procurement from startups. During her recent visit, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nuland offered to help India in finding alternative sources of weapons that could be used to counter Pakistan and China, but India had informed Nuland that the alternatives to Russian weapons were too expensive. India also informed that Russian companies are more willing to set up joint ventures with Indian companies with technology transfer, in which the U.S. defense firms are not interested. Thank <laughs> you.